Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Gale. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen. I'm really excited to, to be talking to you guys about the Baby Brezza, which when I first got this, honestly, I think my kids were kind of laughing, wondering why we have something called the Baby Brezza, because we don't have any babies in the house. <laughs> and I was curious myself. But I am so excited about this little gadget because you can cook anything for kids from any age, honestly, from babies, pureed foods, up to adults. We always have a side dish of fruit at every meal and making fruit dishes, veggie dishes, pureeing a smoothie. I mean, you literally can use this for everything. And the best part, which I love, is that it does it all in one component in terms of steaming it and blending it. No other machine does that. So what I used to have to do was steam something or use the microwave to make it and then put it in the blender and then use a bowl to do it and it just messes up a lot of different things. So this is all in one compartment, which is awesome. So I'm gonna make two meals for you guys, not, actually not meals, but side dishes for you guys today. The first one is a sweet potato puree. I call it sweet potato mash which my kids love. And I'm just gonna show you basically how you do it. Um, and then you guys can do this at home, but it is really easy. First though, before you get started, you basically fill up the water to this line. Just fill up the water to this line, okay? And then you open up the top of the baby breast and you just pour it in there. This is literally so easy. Anybody could do this, okay? Fill it up, boom. Make sure there's no leftover water. And you just put this in here, click it shut, it's all secure, okay? And then basically what I'm going to do, and you can do this with any vegetable, is I'm making the sweet potato mash. So I already skinned the sweet potato, I took off all the skin, and basically you're just going to chop up whatever vegetable you want to make into just little bite-sized pieces. You know, I'm just kind of cutting it like this, putting them in here, you're going to fill this up, okay? And basically, I'm not going to have you sit here and have to watch me fill this whole thing up, but I'm basically going to fill this up with the sweet potatoes. Easy as one, two, three. Literally, anybody could do this. Okay? So you're chopping them up. You're putting them in here. And it's nice, too, that you can do this because you do this, and then you're done. And then you can go do something else. You just leave it here, and it does all the work for you, which I, quite frankly, love <laughs> because it's simple and kind of a no-brainer, especially for little kids or if you have older kids like mine where you don't have a lot of time to just sit and make stuff. You can just get something done, help them with homework, go do something else, and then come back. And, uh, and it's totally made for you. It's so easy. So as you can see, this is basically just one sweet potato, and it goes a far way. So you can make two if you want separately. So I filled it up, okay? And then you take the top, and basically you're just going to click it on here until it locks. Totally locked, again, super easy. And then down here, and they give you instructions, which I love, basically telling you how long certain vegetables or fruits take to steam or to cook. So sweet potatoes, basically 25 minutes to steam them. So you press the steam button, it's so user-friendly, steam, until the blue light goes all the way to 25 minutes, where it shows 25 minutes. Press start, I'm done, and that's it. So we're gonna let it steam, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I do after that, and then I'll show you the second dish. I will see you guys soon. Okay guys, I am back. All of the sweet potatoes are basically steamed. Took 25 minutes, done. Again, I walked away, did some work, and came back, so convenient. So if you want it really pureed for babies or kids that are a little bit younger, you just press the steam and blend button together, it'll steam it blend it, you're done. Literally, it's totally done. Because my kids are older and my husband and I don't like totally pureed food, we're gonna blend it, but just not as much as we normally would. So basically, once again, I am just going to press the blend button. And that is it. I'm gonna check it to make sure it's like the right consistency. Perfect. So I just kind of blended it for a little bit, not as much as it would be again if it was really pureed for little kids. And they have this really cool gadget so you can scoop everything out of here. It makes it, once again, super, super easy. And you basically take everything out, all the sweet potato mash out, okay? Get them in all the nooks and crannies. You can wash everything really super easy. And that's it. And then my kids, of course, we have to put a little bit of cinnamon sugar on it. 
So a little bit of cinnamon sugar. And sweet potatoes is one of the top 10 superfoods. It's so healthy for you. That's why I love this. Mix that around, honestly. So it's a little bit chunky. It's not super pureed. But this is like a perfect side dish for any meal that you have. For dinner or lunch, just put a little bit of this on the side. And then sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon sugar on the top. And that is it. So that is my pure, not pureed, but my sweet potato mash that my kids love and that my husband and I love. We're going to actually have some of this tonight for our side dish. And then I'm going to get to my next dish. I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to make some of my favorite cinnamon apples. So I will see you guys in a sec. Hi, everybody. Okay, I am back. I'm Leslie Gale and I'm using the baby Brezza, which is my new favorite little toy here. It makes making vegetables, steamed foods, fruits, smoothies, pretty much whatever you want to make. So simple because you don't have to use a bunch of different blenders and bowls and a steamer. It's literally all in one compartment, which I love. So I'm going to make my son's favorite little side dish, which is cinnamon apples. It literally tastes like you're eating apple pie. And it's so easy. Any of you can make this, honestly. So I'm going to show you what you do first. Basically, you fill this up to the line, okay, and then you just fill it up in here, super easy, it's a little warm in there because I just made something else, so it's all filled up, okay, and then you put this in here, click it so it's all secure, okay, boom, and then what I'm going to do, if all of you, if you guys have an apple corer, you don't need to use one, it just makes life a lot easier, just core the apple, okay, and then again, just like the sweet potato, you're just going to cut them up into small pieces. All right, just cut, cut, cut. You're going to do this for probably like two small apples is what you're going to want to do. Depends how big your apples are. Okay. So you're basically just putting the apples in here that you're going to, if you don't have an apple core, that's totally fine. Just cut the apple into small pieces. I'm just making my life as easy as I can because I don't have a lot of time, which I'm sure all of you moms can agree. And this is super healthy. Again, it's not anything that has a ton of sugar or a lot of preservatives or this or that. We have fresh fruit with every single meal. So this one, again, you can eat with a side dish of your uh, lunch, you can have it on a side dish with your dinner, or you can just make it as a dessert, honestly, and have these baked apples like a side dish of some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream, which would be really good, which my kids are probably salivating right now. Ice cream or like a brownie, put a little crumble on it, something like that. But this is super good and once again, super easy. So I cut up all the apples, okay? I'm not being pretty, you don't have to be pretty. Basically, just get it done. Get all the apples in here. This was two small apples. So there you go. Fill it up. Fill the apples up in there. Put the top on, okay? Once again, just click it shut. Totally secure. Everything's shut. And then I am just going to steam the apples. Again, I don't want to puree these apples. I don't have a baby. My kids are older, so I'm just steaming it. So you basically just press the steam button. And for apples... The light, it's just for 15 minutes. It takes 15 minutes. That's it. Press the start, start button and we're done. So I'm going to let that steam and then I'll get back to you guys in a minute. See you soon. All right, so 15 minutes have elapsed. Once again, I went and actually went and did some gardening for 15 minutes. <laughs> Coming back, apples are totally steamed. Take the top off. You can see all the steam. It smells really good. Like I said, this is my son's favorite little side dish. You know what I am going to do first, however, is I'm going to come over here, just pour out a little bit of the water because there's quite a bit of water, just all the moisture from the apples. Pour that out, okay? Come back over so you don't have all the water. Dump all the apples in there. Super yummy side dish. Sprinkle it with cinnamon sugar, okay? Move it around, some more cinnamon sugar. This literally tastes like hot apple pie. It's so good. Just side dish to any meal. Put some vanilla ice cream with it as a side dish for a dessert if you want. 
This with the sweet potato mash, two side dishes, simple side dishes for the baby Brezza. I hope you guys enjoyed them and I hope you go make them. I will see you guys soon.